continuing with uh, the system development life cycle. Well, kind of a, a, a digression uh, to a certain extent, but pointing out that um, uh, at every stage and and uh, most especially at the beginning, uh, at the initiation or conceptual stage, you are doing risk management once again. You are considering the risks, considering what uh, special protections must be put in place, what special uh, measures must be taken in terms of the development itself, not just uh, adding uh, security aspects to the, the final system, but, um, you know, how... How important is security going to be and what types of security are going to be important to this system and, and therefore what do we need to do with it as we are building it. So what are the, the considerations? Um, is this system going to be dealing with information of special needs or special value uh, to the enterprise um, are there going to be uh, special access requirements you know the, the access controls um, do they need to be stepped up because of uh, sensitive nature of the information um, is uh, are we going to have to you know have redundancy in terms of the system because it, availability is important. These, these types of issues, these types of uh, considerations uh, in, in terms of the, well, the overall idea, first of all, and then the requirements for uh, the system um, and the requirements for design. Um, now, uh, again, with... Uh, in terms of the requirements, in terms of the design, um, we've got, uh, you know, the, the classification of the information, uh, the, uh, again, everything that we went through in information classification uh, in terms of access control. Um, but... Uh, in performing our our risk analysis, um, we are going to be looking at uh, uh, well. For example, is this uh, system going to be talking to other systems? What uh, are the requirements for the other systems? Um, uh, do they have special needs in terms of uh, confidentiality or integrity or availability? Um, that we need to pay particular attention to when we are developing the requirements for this system. Uh, and, and, you know, so on as we go through the design. Um, and even into the, uh, the implementation and, and the testing. Uh, making sure that we are addressing the needs of the other systems, uh, that this is going to be tied to, that this is going to be feeding to or feeding from, um, and it, in ensuring that we, you know, have not attached a wide open system to a system which we have been uh, protecting uh, at all costs previously because its information is highly sensitive, confidential, you know, whatever the, the particular need may be. Um, as we go through, there are going to be different tools that are available to us at the different stages and, and different substages, as previously mentioned, and we have to decide, do we require special effort? Do we require uh, additional tools? Do we require uh, better 
tools than, than we would normally use. Do, do we require just simply uh, multiple runs with similar types of tools from uh, different vendors, perhaps, that might catch different uh, types of errors when we're uh, looking at uh, code analysis tools, for example. Uh, so all these different uh, considerations uh, addressed on the basis of what is, uh, you know, what are the requirements, what are the special considerations, what are the special needs of this particular system. Again, knowing what we're going to be using it for, what, what it's going to be doing, uh, you know, uh, how important is it going to be uh, to us. Uh, taking all of those into account. Uh, the different, well, we mentioned the uh, code checking tools, and we've got different types of code checking tools that do different types of code checking on uh, our uh, are not code in, in terms of uh, different types of problems. You know, how many different levels uh, do we have to have with this particular system? Um, and, uh, of course, the, the issue of the security-related coding itself, uh, coding security functions, um, security tools into the system we are building. Uh, that may be dealing with access control, that may be dealing with encryption, maybe uh, dealing with a variety of things, but making sure that we have those functions in place and properly in place in regard to the needs of the system.